Hi, I'm Gary, the old geek guy. And today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about keyboards because I did buy a keyboard for my iPad and I wanna tell you the pros and cons to it and the reason why I'm probably going to send it back. So let's get into it. So I bought this keyboard to replace another keyboard that I had, which was the um, Apple Magic Keyboard, which was a nice keyboard. But the trouble is, I didn't like the way it functioned, and it was really something for people who are really heavy users of a keyboard. I'm not. I'm not a user like that at all. But at any rate, uh, I want to show you some of the things about the keyboard, the pluses and the minuses, and then we'll get into some other keyboards as well. So let's go. So this is my Logitech Folio Touch. Folio because it folds, as you can see, Folio, and Touch because it has a touch bar here at the bottom. I don't know if you can see the cursor going up and down over there, but it is moving around with my finger. In fact, I'll show you what this cursor will do. And go down over here to Notes, and Notes are there, and then you hit it. So that's the reason why they call it a folio touch. Now the biggest problem with this for me is the keyboard. Now you can probably see the keys and you can probably see that the keys that have the letters that are kind of washed out. The reason they're washed out is because the letters have a backlight and the backlight makes it easier to see in the dark. Trouble is that for me, it has to be pitch black for me to even see the backlight because that's how bad my sight is. Uh, I'll show you. Let me make sure that it's on. It's on there. Okay, now I'll turn the light off. And that's the backlight. And you can see it plain. I'm sure you can see it very nicely. I can't. Besides, I had to be in a very dark room. This isn't even dark enough. I had to be in a very dark room to see that backlit keyboard. And I had to be very close to it. Now the reason why is this. Because I never learned to touch type. I've always typed with Hunt and Peck. And with Hunt and Peck, you've got to see the board, the keyboard, and you have to see the letters. And when I do see the letters, you can see it went off automatically right now. And that's because it's saving battery life on the iPad. It's the iPad that's, that's actually um, powering this keyboard. At any rate, I, I can't see well enough to see what keys I'm hitting, and sometimes I hit the wrong keys. And that's the drawback for doing Hunt and Peck. So that's basically it. So what do I do about a, a keyboard and a trackpad? Well, I do have a trackpad that I can use with a keyboard that's a loose. In other words, it's not attached to the keyboard like this is right here, the one you just saw. It's actually a keyboard, uh, trackpad that's used with the iMac that I have. But I can also pair it by Bluetooth to the iPad as well. I also have a mouse that I can pair to the uh, iPad by Bluetooth as well, and that works out really nice. So let's see what my setup would be, the least expensive way to go. In fact, it didn't really cost anything. So let's see. So this is the setup that I'll probably end up using, which is basically the same thing. And it didn't really cost me any more money except for purchasing a second keyboard for my iMac that's much better than this keyboard. This keyboard up here does not have those function keys that we like with other ones on the other boards. Like the other one, it has a bunch more. And of course it has a number pad on the side of my keyboard. As I will show later when I show you what that keyboard is and how easy it is to read. This isn't any easier to read necessarily, but it is white on black letters and with the proper light, I can see it from about 12 inches. But just to show you how this works, the keyboard, let's, let's go to this is the mouse. You can see the mouse working just fine on here. Works great. I'm gonna open up the notes like that. And I'm going to make a new note over here like that, okay. And then I'm going to show you that you can type in it. There's a typing for it, the notes, the work, everything works just fine. So this is probably what I'm going to be using and it works fine. Just takes a little bit more to set up. And if I'm gonna write a letter or something, it works very, very well. And it works with the mouse as well. So I'm happy with this. I also wanna show you my keyboard that I use for the Mac. The keyboard for the Mac is a large one. That's just, remember I said something about replacing the 
keyboard that came with the Mac because it's very, very minimal and very uh, limited in some of the things it can do. Well, this keyboard has a number pad on the side. It has the same function keys on the top as well too, but there's more function keys and more useful keys as well. And so that's why I bought this keyboard. It wasn't expensive. And not only that, it's uh, solar. It's a solar keyboard and I really like it. I'll show you what it looks like. This is the keyboard that I use with my Mac. In fact, there's my Mac sitting right there. And this keyboard, even as you see it, it may look like it's pretty bright, but for me it's not. My, my sight is not that good, and that's what's very sad. I can see it if I put a bright light on it and get within 12 inches, I can see it to do some typing. But just to give you an example how bad <laughs> or limited I am in certain aspects. So that's my problem with keyboards and my vision, which is macular degeneration. I mentioned that in one of my first videos. I hope you subscribe to these videos. I have a few, especially if you're an older person and you have some limitations. And some of the things that I found that work for me and some of the things that haven't worked for me, I think may be of some use to a lot of people, even if you're young and you have some limitations. Now, my next video is going to be kind of interesting. I'm going to kind of veer off a little bit to what I normally do, which is just keyboards and geek stuff. I'm going to interview somebody. In fact, I'm going to interview my daughter, Terry, Terry Sanders, and we're gonna talk about uh, limitations, because she has a lot more limitations than I do. And I think you'll enjoy that. So look forward to that. That'll be the next video that we put into. So put down the like, please push that little thumb button and subscribe if you like. And also, you might want to put that bell on there so that you know when I'm going to have my next one as well. Thanks a lot for watching. This is the old geek guy, Gary.